Roper on Communication. Communication is a broad topic and this part of the course looks deeper into the issues around communication from Roper, Logan, Tierney's model of nursing. The AOL of communication is concerned with conveying meanings from one person to another using mutually understood language, spoken word, signs, body language or symbols, writing. For communication to happen, the patient must be able to recognize the message and understand the meaning. If the patient's ability to understand what is said is restricted or they are unable to express their own thoughts or feelings, then there is a problem with the AOL of communication and a dependency exists. The nurse should plan care to help the patient to communicate if possible. Roper et al. 2000 Physical factors affecting communication As with all of Roper's ADLs, we must look at patient holistically physical factors that affect Samira's ability to perform this ADL. These physical factors are what you observe when assessing Sumira's physical injury or a physical disability. If they affect Sumira's ability to perform the AOL of communication, you should plan how to assist her to better communicate with nursing staff, family and friends. Sumira's physical ability to communicate. Sumira has the following physical factors that are affecting her ability to communicate effectively. She is dependent on eyeglasses to see people's faces. She is confused and needs time to process new information. She may struggle to identify and express her wants and needs due to the effects of a head injury. As with all of Roper's ADLs, we must assess not only the physical aspects affecting a patient's ability to communicate, but also the psychological and sociological factors. Psychological Factors Affecting Communication The AOL of communication has significant effect on the patient's quality of life. Social interactions are central to the patient's role in the family and wider society. Any limitation of communication can lead to extreme frustration and depression. Roper states that it is a human need for the patient to be able to express their wants and needs and have meaningful communication with those that are close to them. The nursing assessment is not restricted only to what the patient says. It is also about picking up on cues from body language and empathizing with the patient. Samira is disoriented and confused, so this can easily lead to anxiety. If she is unable to express herself clearly and accurately, reassurance is required at this time and the family and any other informal carers should be made aware of this. Sociological Factors and Communication Roper Logan and Tierney's model asks for nurses to consider each patient as a person who is a member of a family and a community. Sumira is a wife, mother and grandmother and she is a housewife. Communication is vital for Sumira to perform her family role and for her to function in her community and society. Consider the sociological factors of communication for Sumira. Although communication is not a priority health need, it is a vital part of work as nurses and can be factored into Sumira's care plan as nursing interventions, such as keeping her informed, offering reassurance and explanations for treatments and procedures.